Hello Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your 10 minute mini reading while I'm on vacation. I just really wanted to do these little mini readings for you guys while I'm out and about and I'm um, just kind of taking it easy and taking a break but still wanting to get a bonus reading in for you guys. So let's dive right into this. Leo, I wanted to first take a look and see where the Divine Masculine is at when it comes to the connection. So we're going to be using a couple of decks by Sister Moon Tarot. This is the Moody Moon Messages Masculine Edition and then we'll grab messages from the Romantic Confessions deck from the Divine Masculine. Okay, so let's get started and let's take a look and see where the masculine is at. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo for this mini reading. Let's take a look. Where is the masculine at when it comes to this connection? Avoidant, denial, fantasy, and looking away. So there's something here that this masculine perhaps is avoiding at this point in time when it comes to the connection with the feminine is in denial over something unable to face the feminine right now but still interestingly enough still fantasizing about the feminine strong capable powerful empowered okay so with avoidant right next to it i'm just kind of feeling that he might be wavering as far as how he sees himself if he technically is a very strong person either physically emotionally or if he's just naturally a very capable individual i feel he's just not going through a very good time as far as the connection or tapping into his strength when it comes to the feminine i just don't feel like he's being very strong right now not very powerful he is anything but empowered at this time let's grab one more okay two more deciding deliberating options and comparing okay so part of the reason why he might be avoiding this feminine is he might have other options in love and romance as well but there's also this very sad energy depressed grief and forlorn so my masculines could have certainly gone through a very difficult period when it comes to this connection especially if you guys are having challenges right now and you're not together and if you're not together part of the reason why he might be in deliberation mode is because you guys are not together and he might have other people that are trying to grab his attention at this point in time but it also makes him very sad that he can't be with his feminine all right let's see what else i know that we fight because of the intense passion between us okay so part of this avoidance again might be that you guys have been arguing and just not feeling very strong at this point in time it makes him actually very sad that you guys are not together i'm always looking for you and everyone i meet okay so even though he might have other options when it comes to love and romance i feel this feminine is the one that he wants to be with even though there are other people that are vying for his attention and then bottom of the deck, I never got over you. So maybe this masculine could also be trying to move on to other relationships, but just isn't very happy with where things are at between himself and the masculine. So let's grab some tarot here. What else do we need to know about this masculine Leo for your mini reading? Where is this masculine at? Where is this masculine at? The Four of Swords. Okay, so some of you guys might be focused on an air sign here, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This is a resting period. This is recuperation time, which I'm already picking up off of that because he's avoiding the feminine. Okay, you guys are not together at this time, which is contributing to this very sad, depressed energy. But this might actually be a blessing in disguise but because it helps this masculine, masculine, if I can speak, to figure out what and who he wants. He's still deliberating. He's still deciding. Never having, having gotten over the feminine here. What else, please, for Leo? We have the Justice card. So some of you guys focused on Libra. Okay, I did mention air signs already. This is specifically Libra from 
this justice card. So there's some sort of soul contract here that's binding you guys together. And there's this need to face the truth of what's really happening between the two of you. This is the need to balance these scales between the masculine and feminine. And perhaps there's a struggle when it comes to that. But we do have the sun. Okay, so this is happiness. This is illumination, success and very positive vibes from the sun, letting us know that there's still a potential that this can still come back together, despite where you guys are at right now. But you know, for now, two of swords, there is a stalemate here, there's not a whole lot of movement that is presenting itself here. And then we've got the four of cups, which can represent a missed opportunity here for this masculine if he perhaps is just avoiding the feminine too long and it turns out to be that you know the feminine ends up moving on to another relationship despite all of these options that he might ultimately have in front of him okay so let's now take a look and see where is the feminine when it comes to this connection we'll take a look at that really quickly all right, so we're going to grab messages from the Divine Feminine Deck Energy Oracle Cards by Flames of Alchemy. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo for this mini bonus reading. All right. Meditation. So my feminines are just really taking it easy, just doing some soul searching, going within to try to figure things out for herself. distorted feminine okay so for some of you guys this is the feminine's energy very distorted at this time not having a clear understanding of where she might be in her life and possibly that has to do with the masculine having other choices and just not being in a very good place so she herself doesn't even see herself in a very clear light let's see what else What else, please, for Leo? This is part of the problem for some of my feminines is that she was abandoned perhaps by this masculine or this is past energies. And if that's an energy that still hasn't been healed, then it's going to definitely affect the current vibes between the masculine and the feminine. Revenge. Okay, so some of my feminines are not in a good place wanting revenge with whoever abandoned her. And there's this need to find a balance, but I feel struggling with that. And the heart chakra is in need of some major healing here. Need of balance and healing when it comes to the feminine. Okay, so let's grab some additional insight. Again, by Sister Moon Tarot. This is the Moody Moon messages honoring the cycle of the Divine Feminine. So let's see where else the feminine is when it comes to this connection. Super quick check-in, Leo. Let's see what else. Where is the feminine? Bright, high vibrational, clear, and joyful. Okay, I don't think my feminine is here quite yet because of the energies that are presenting itself here through the Divine Feminine deck above, but you know, I feel she's working on it. We do have powerful, okay? I, I can accomplish anything I put my mind to. Again, these are all energies that I feel my feminines are working towards, trying to maintain balance, trying to heal that heart chakra to be able to get to the point where she can be powerful and high vibrational. What else, please? Solitude, yeah. Just wanting to be alone at this time, you know, self-reflection, soul searching. I just want to be left alone. And it even says that right there. Okay. So I wanted to grab some dialogue super quick from the feminine. This is my woman's intuition oracle. Let's see. What does this feminine want to say to the masculine? I love you. That's all. But look at the next card. You are a damn hard lesson to learn. So the love definitely here when it comes to how the feminine feels about the masculine. 
but also acknowledging that there's a lesson that needed to be learned here and it was very, very difficult. Let's grab some tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. Where's the feminine? What else do we need to know? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So some of you guys focusing on an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This Solitude card is very similar to the Hermit, which is already Virgo energy. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, when it comes to love and romance, it's a new beginning. It's manifestation, you know, being able to start something fresh, something new, something beautiful, something valuable in this connection. The Four of Wands, I mean, amazing. Foundation, harmony, homecoming, a twin flame connection. So my feminine is definitely recognizing that this has the potential for happiness, harmony, building a life with this with this masculine, possibly even marriage. And then we've got the Ten of Cups right here. Marriage, family, hopes, dreams, love, contentment, home. I mean, these two cards right next to each other are magical. This is letting us know here that there is healing that's definitely needed here, balance that needs to be restored, but the masculine and feminine can bring this back together if you guys can just get onto the same page and work through it. And then we've got the chariot, which is a triumphant outcome in this partnership, specifically cancer for some of you guys. So there is movement that's possible here. I don't think it's happening yet, and that's just gonna take some more time, I feel. Okay, and I didn't actually get a chance to pull dialogue messages for the masculine. So let's go ahead and do that right now to close out this reading, Leo. So this is what the masculine would like to say to this feminine, if given the opportunity. What does this masculine want to say to this feminine for this Leo bonus to close this out? Yes, what we had was very real. The fact of the matter is my reality without you in it is lonely, sad, and boring. So even though he's got options, this is the reality. I care more than you will ever know. Bottom of the deck. There will never be another love for me like the love I have for you. Okay, so that's where the masculine is at, feminines. You know, there, this definitely is a situation that needs healing and perhaps a little bit more time so that you guys can be traveling down the same road. But this is a fixable situation if you guys can just be traveling down the same path. And I feel that that's certainly possible with what's presenting itself here. All right, guys, so super quick check-in for this bonus reading, Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to resonate with it. And again, I am on vacation still, so I'm not doing any personal readings right now, but you can still visit my website and check my availability there. All right, guys, I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.